So the Weenie Dancers! It is a show where members of the public contribute a bit to the questions. Are we all up for that? Then please will you welcome the pathetically skinny Mark Watson! Welcome to Weenie Dancers, the uh, game show that you helped to make. This is a one-off uh, version of a show which we did in Edinburgh. Who saw it in Edinburgh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just one person, but he saw it fucking well. No, um, who did it? So most people have never seen it before. Okay, well it's a game show. Do you like game shows? Yes. Yeah. I love this. It's one. Um, <laughs> of them. Uh, basically, two people will go head to well, not just two people, two comedians will go head to head to answer questions. Uh, but all the, I mean, comedians are people, but they're a subset of people who are funnier than other people. Uh, but they're not, their main job is not to be funny tonight, but to compete in a quiz show. Um, all the questions come from AQA, which, uh, who's familiar with AQA? Yeah. Yeah. Not everyone, though. It's um, basically uh, it's a text messaging service where you can text them. And whatever the question is, they will answer it. Doesn't matter what it is, they'll answer it. Now you might think, well, that, oh, that's a miracle. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> you might then move on to think, um, we're having problems with the mic. Oh, by the way, just to update you on how the lights are going, they're going badly. <laughs> <laughs> if I move over here, that won't really help, but it will just concentrate us on the problem. Is that better? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's helped enormously. There we go. Because I'm glad I'm standing on the, I'm now standing on. Just to update you on my stability, I'm now standing on two makeshift crates which formerly contained uh, eggs. <laughs> no, I'll soon fall over. It doesn't matter because what won't fall over <laughs> is the entertainment. So, um, yeah, uh, AQA is these people you tax them, and it doesn't matter what the question is, they'll answer it. Uh, so you might ask, why doesn't everyone in the country have this magic number on their phones? It might be that you don't know the number. You might be thinking, if there was just some jingle which would help me to remember this number, fuck me, I'd remember it then. Well, here it is. Oh. Hello, What question does Andy's Altman get asked the most? Are you really Jewish? <laughs> um, <laughs> tell, tell me about that goal you scored the other week. Probably that. <laughs> Andy Zoltzman gets asked why he looks like Art Garfunkel the most. <laughs> <laughs> if you leave a sandwich and a biscuit overnight, why does the sandwich go hard and the biscuit go soft? God's will. <laughs> what product has the barcode? 501. Oh, uh, you'll regret that. Spaghetti <laughs> um, hula hoops. I'll complete the question. 501002 414 Andy. Uh, was it uh, Jermaine Defoe, the football? No, it's a 500 gram pack of Saxa Core Sea Salt. <laughs> How many grapes can a man put in his mouth? Yeah, now, just to give you the history on this, as you'll know if you saw the show in Edinburgh, we've done this physical challenge before and we've got some form here. Um, Simon Amstel, the uh, skinny. Bay, host of Don't Mind the Bus Box. <laughs> the record holder is millionaire and former star Frank Skinner. <laughs> Still a star, but a different type of star. He was once a TV star, he's now one of the best live stand ups out there. Who gives a shit? What's important is he had 24 grapes in his mouth. That's right, in Edinburgh, Skinner, one of the best stand ups of our generation, put 24 grapes in his mouth while everyone chanted, He's harboring grapes to the tune of It's Coming Home. <laughs> <laughs> Nine grapes all as Oldsman drops his buzzer. This will take Oldsman into double figures. Double figures for Oldsman. Ten grapes. Yes! Are there more ants than fish? 
Yes. It's correct! Yay! Yay! There are 10 quadrillion ants in the world to so around 100 trillion fish. Has, there, has anyone ever been speared and killed by a live swordfish? Yes. It's correct. Yay! Yay! Don Bradman. It wasn't Don Bradman. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Malaysian man. Oh, right. If I guess his name, can I get a point? Uh, yes, and you can also provide us with his name, so we have his name in future. Um... <laughs> Thundruk Smashapal. Thank you very much. <laughs> is beer bad for cats? <laughs> Always. It is bad for cats! <laughs> Always. 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 Is fine. Is, Always. Is a Bounty's Capri's or Nestle? Yes. <laughs> it's incredible, it passes over. Nestle. It's not, it's made by Mars. When Saddam Hussein was captured, several bounty bars were found in the fridge of his farmhouse in which he was hiding. <laughs> Bless him. And that brings us to the end of the We the Answers Community Shield. We've got a winner and we have a loser. First of all, we're going to have to deal with the loser. Um, he, well, it was fairly nip and tuck for a lot of the game. He led at times, other times he seemed not to give it his best. His daughter's got a similar name to his wife. Oh. With 22 points, it's Andy Zoltzman! Oh. And that's 21 points, one deducted for that display of unsportsmanlike behaviour. <laughs> now, this means that the winner of the Community Shield on his first appearance with 29 points is Marek Lawer! I liked it, it was really funny. You didn't know where it was going to get ended up anyway. And actually, learned quite a lot. It was really good. I've seen the uh, conclusion of the show. Marek won by 29.22. It was a good performance, I think, by Marek. It was a good game all round. Um, ultimately, Andy paid the price for maybe not answering all the questions with all his heart. He tried to maybe be a bit funny on one or two questions. AQA is not about necessarily being funny, it's about being entertaining, but it's also about facts. Marek had more facts and that's why he won. It's uh, not a grave injustice. Uh, I felt I was harshly treated by the questions. And uh, I just don't feel like I'm a fair crack. Yeah, I'm just going to have to learn to live with it. Uh, fight another day. Hello, I'm the proud winner of the Community Shield. I didn't think I could ever beat Andy Zilksman, and he played a lot of mind games at the start of the, uh, the quiz, which I managed to overcome. And I think just honestly answering the questions, for all those kids out there, just try as hard as you can, then you can beat winners like me. Thank you.